226 pounds this morning. It's not good. That's not good. I'm trying to be like 212 maybe, 210. But, you know, got to start somewhere. So anyway, we're getting back in the gym today. It's been a minute for me. So I feel good about that. I meditated last night. That was on the bonus list. Feel good about that. Always makes me feel good. Got my shake. Got the eggs in there. So I was making these videos last night. Camera got all fucked up. Try to upload it to YouTube so I could just delete it. YouTube crashed. It was a whole nightmare. But anyway, these things happen. When you try to do big things, they're, the universe is going to be like, nah, fuck you. And you're going to be like, fuck you, universe. I do what I want. And you got to be you gotta prepared for that. That when you start making these rumblings in the world, in the universe, the universe is going to push back and be like, hey, do you really want this? It's not going to be easy. That's what I think people think. They're like, oh, I'm going to make some major changes in my life. And then they think it's going to be easy street. Nah, it's not going to be easy street. It's going to be hard street. Anyway, I'm about to make this shake and get my shit together and go work out. It's going to be a good day. All right, got my shake. This is my pre-workout meal. So we already made a video on that. These are the supplements I actually take. Balance. Take two of these. This helps regulate blood sugar, helps with bloating, helps you absorb more nutrients. Multivitamin, you know what multivitamins do. Multivitamin is an underrated supplement. You don't have to get these ones, but you should take a multivitamin. All right, I probably got shake in my beard. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. All right, what else we take? Nootropics, I'm gonna take those at the end. I take these as part of my pre-workout. I'm a big nootropics guy. Helps you focus without stimulants. It's for your bones, joint support. Um, would I take this if I wasn't getting paid to take these? Probably not. But I do think they help a little bit for sure. But with all, like, I'm just telling you the ones that I take, and I'll tell you the ones that I would take even if I wasn't sponsored. Multivitamins, for sure. It's for gut health. Would I take this if it wasn't free? Probably not. You just eat more probiotics. Also take a kelp supplement. It's for iodine. Don't tell Legion. Don't tell Legion. And the Legion has a B complex supplement. I don't know where I put that. I think it's over there. I don't feel like walking all over there right now. That's my morning supplement routine. And then I already got my pre-workout made. I took my pre-workout, making it in my little shaker. I put my gym bag. That's already done. And then my protein. I put protein and then creatine in another shaker for the post-workout. So I'm going to finish my meal. I'm going to start getting ready. And I do my meal about, for, on upper body days, about an hour and a half before, two hours before lower body days. So that's where we're at right now. I can't see. So I have super sensitive eyes. I like literally can't even go outside without sunglasses on. But it's good to get some light, sunlight into your eyeballs first thing in the morning and it helps reset your circadian rhythm so you can sleep better and have more, better energy levels. And normally I come out here earlier as the sun's coming up and I can handle it. But, you know, nothing about my life is normal right now. Oh my God, it's so bright. So I have green eyes 
and I've worn sunglasses outside year round for my entire life. I can't see, but it'll be good for me. Eventually I will be able to see. It just takes a little bit, it's getting better. But yeah, you wanna get some sunlight into your eyeballs. Also, this is something that I really recommend. First thing in the morning, do something that you can just sit there and relax. In order to do that, you probably need to go to bed earlier and you probably need to wake up a little bit earlier. Even if you go 15 minutes and you spend five minutes in the morning, get your routine done. So I have everything packed in my gym bag. All I gotta do is grab it and go. I'm just waiting for my food to digest a little bit. I'm on, I'm on a tight schedule here because I gotta be back here by 11. And it's like, I don't know what time it is. It's almost eight, but no, it's not, I don't know what the fuck time it is. But anyway, I gotta be working out actually working out by nine o'clock i'm just gonna run through this one quick but i'm going to a gym where i got fired from so i probably know some people there and i'll probably get caught up in some conversations i don't want to i'm gonna try not to do that but i don't want to be a jerk either so either way the point is i gotta move quick so i don't know what the fuck i was talking about but anyway in the morning, you want to take at least a few minutes to do something where you can relax. So I got my, we got, all right, we're back on track now. Got my morning routine done. I got everything packed and ready to go. So all the, ah, is out of the way. Now I have a few minutes to just sit down and relax. And you can meditate for five minutes. You can go, I recommend going outside. Even if you don't live somewhere cool, it doesn't matter. You know, if you live in like a high rise in a city somewhere, then it's probably a pain in the ass. But uh, maybe sit by a window or just take five minutes to yourself to just, Life is good, you know? Think about some things that you're grateful for and how awesome life really is because, listen, if you're alive, life is awesome. There's a lot of people that didn't wake up this morning. And I think that's something that we forget about, that I think our lives are so good that we forget that all the time. You know, imagine living in like a third world country where you wake up and you have no food and water and you have to go figure that out every single day. So I think just take five minutes and just think of all the things that, you know, you're like, you know what life is pretty good or this is what i'm going to do today or these this is what i'm excited about something that's in a positive mindset and everything really helps your life so anyway i'm gonna do that and then we're about to go hit this gym all right we're gonna try this again yeah. i'm having so many difficulties with everything so far camera issues computer issues upload issues microphone issues but listen i don't even care we're gonna fucking push forward because now i'm getting pissed off and when i get pissed off that's when i get shit done but I don't like being pissed off. I try to do things just not pissed off. But when I do get pissed off, watch out because I'm going to get this shit figured the fuck out. Anyway, what I was saying was I, sh I shot a whole video. My mics are all fucked up because my seatbelt. Anyway, this is what I'm saying. It, I, I'm trying to get back in the gym. Um, it's easy when Hunter's around because I have to be there. But now it's just me by myself. So I'm not going to plan some monster leg day as my first day back. The, the goal for today is just to walk in the front door. So when you're starting new habits, you just need to stack small wins and think long term. Like, okay, if I just get there and said, oh, I got to get there. I'm going to do the hardest workout ever. I'm going to have the perfect nutrition. I'm going to do all the things. Like, no, you're not, dude. Like, maybe for a day, but it's not sustainable. So it's better to just make small wins. It's easy to climb a small mountain versus a huge mountain. So my goal is just to show up. And because I know that I love the gym once I'm there, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to try my best. I've been eating like complete trash for the last couple of weeks, not feeding my body with, a, with enough nutrients. I have no idea how my body's going to perform. So I'm just going to go there and try my best. I'm going to do stuff that I enjoy doing. So I'm going to do this chest press machine. This is the plan. We'll see. It's a busy commercial gym at 9 o'clock on a Saturday morning. But anyway, I'm going to do this chest press machine that I like. They have like a cable like fly slash chest press machine. I don't know what the fuck you call it, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a back exercise and then I'm gonna hit some biceps and that's the goal. If I do more, great. If not, perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. So I'm, I'm a little bit behind time. I have a Zoom meeting back home at 11. So I gotta be back. So I'm just gonna hit it. Um, I started drinking my pre-workout already. Normally I, I get there, I dilly dally, I warm up. So it's gonna be just not a normal day, but that's okay. I'm not trying to do a normal day. I'm just trying to stack wins right now. So that's it. And I'm really frustrated holding this fucking camera. So I'm going to stop doing that because there's a lot of traffic in Florida and the driving through is here is really dangerous. Goodbye. Love you. Goodbye. All right. We're going to keep the weight a little bit lighter today. Add some intensity multipliers. So there's only two ways to increase force. 
increase the mass or increase the acceleration. But we can still increase the intensity without increasing the force. I'm trying to keep it a little easier on my joints today because I haven't been working out in a while. So instead of going crazy heavy, put my joints a little bit more at risk, I'm gonna push the muscles. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow down the tempo. So tempo is velocity, not acceleration, so it's different. So we still heavily tax the muscles without putting more stress on the joints. Also, I got a great story for you guys. I ran into somebody who used to be on the team and kind of left in a, in a bad way, but we hashed it out. I'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway, here we go. Hit 12. Here with a tempo. Maybe next time I add a little pause to it. So we're not increasing the forces, we're just increasing the time that we're applying the forces. Two different things. One, it's harder on the muscles and not harder on the joints. So that's what we're trying to do today. All right. This one's got a little bit more of a decline vibe to it. This is them come pushing down like this, but it's like a cable fly and a chest press at the same time. I don't really want to do decline, so I'm gonna stand it up. And again, I'm gonna hit this intensity multiplier. I'm gonna try to squeeze at the end of the movement. Get that big stretch. Oh, right. What's up, my man? How you doing? How you doing, brother? Good, man. Yeah, yeah. Look good over here. Yeah, man. I'm trying to get like you, brother. I'm trying to get like you. <laughs> good seeing you, man. Yeah, I saw I saw Tom. I haven't ran into him in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, so that's Back cool. For a while, you stand? Nah, I'm just sitting to work out here real quick today. I've been training over in Tampa. Okay. But um, my buddy I train with, he's away. And I live right over in Madeira Beach, so. Oh, sweet. Well, we're here, man. Yeah. You got my number, man. Yeah. I miss you, brother. Good seeing you, brother. Looking good. Thanks. All right, we're going to cut the weight down a little bit here. I only got eight last time, but which is fine. But my shoulders started coming out of position, so we're going to do it right. <clears throat> Try to keep those scaps back and down. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Good, good. It's been a minute. Yeah. Look at you, a bad etiquette, talking to someone in the middle of their set. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna report you, get you fired. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not fired already. How you been? Good. That makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, man. Life's good. Nah, we're just training together. Yeah, we're training together. Um, yeah, we went up with it pretty good. So we had like of that team, we had a couple people went on to win world championships and break world records. Nice. Yeah, it's good. So now I'm training over in Tampa. I don't know if you remember Hunter, he used to work at the front desk. So him and I are training together. But yeah, now I'm just trying to do some business stuff, trying to make some money on the internet, teach people how to work out. Yeah. So it's been good. Very good. Yeah, yeah, how you been? Better. Good. I've uh, been very good. That's good. You know, um, they had, I turned 75. They had a big party for me here over the weekend. Awesome. Yeah, so it was. When nice. was that? The party was Friday. My actual birthday was last Saturday. Awesome. Happy birthday. Thank you. 75. 75. You're still killing it. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> I mean, I went through breast cancer. A year and a half ago, I had a mini stroke. Then I fell and broke my wrist. <laughs> and I'm so 
You're a survivor. Yes. We love that. Yes. We love that. And we went to the hard rock for my birthday and I won seven hundred dollars. Hell yeah, let me get some. Yep. <laughs> let me get a hundred. Yep. Good seeing you. We get some lap pull downs here. So if you're like perfectly upright, I think about bringing the elbows down to the side. That's me primarily last. If you lean back a little bit, I think about trying to pull the elbows down towards the hips. It's gonna be lats and upper back at the same time. It's not right or wrong, it's just different. I'm gonna lean back a little bit. I think I'm trying to squeeze my elbows behind my body. At the top, letting those scaps pull all the way up. Squeezing them down. Come on, Red. Try to get that big squeeze at the bottom. All right. All right, we're gonna finish a little bicep pump here. We're gonna do the, the, Jersey, the Jersey Shore Peel. It's the best part of the workout here. We hit a couple sets there. Feels good, looking good. Ought to be in Hollywood, baby. All right, here's the post workout flex up. I uh, I just don't like the way they look right now. But it's okay, this is our starting point. About to get diced up, that's how we do it. Good workout though for what it was. I got some good stories for you. All right, going to get my beer trim because it always feels nice to start fresh, looking fresh. I'm gonna go do that. But first, I'm gonna tell you a little story. So I was running behind schedule to go to a gym I never go to, just to whatever, you guys already heard about that. But I ran into this dude who used to be on the team and I poured my heart and soul into this dude like I do everybody on the team. And then he was trained for us for a long time and then just ghosted us, just disappeared, stopped showing up, stopped saying anything to anybody. And I was like, damn, that's kind of fucked up. Like, if you don't wanna be here, I mean, that's totally fine. I'm a very understanding person. But, like, to just dip out and not say anything to anyone is kind of fucked up. That was years ago. So, anyway, I ran into him in the locker room. And if I just saw him in passing at the gym, I'd probably just, like, give him one of these and that's it. Because he knows that, like, he fucked up. And I don't really care. But the fact that I was running behind, like, we just happened to run into each other in the locker room. We're the only dudes in there. And we were able to talk it out. And he was just like, hey, man, like, you know, I never got the chance to, like, apologize for that. And I kind of went into some deep stuff, you know. I was just like, yeah, just have, like... You know, I just had this, like, fear of admitting when I was wrong and blah, blah, blah. And I was able to work through all that. And, like, you know, it was a really cool, cool moment, you know, because I really like that guy. Everyone that's been on the team, I have love for. And if you're not – if I don't feel that way towards you, you're not going to be on the team because I, I want everyone to do well. And you can't want everyone to do well if you don't have genuine love for them. So it was cool, man. I feel, I feel really good that – that conversation happened, you know, at the end of like, we went through a fist bump. I just gave him a big hug. And like, I, I just wanted him to, I wanted him to know that like, I didn't hold that against him, but I'm really glad that we had that conversation. Cause I feel like I deserved that conversation. I think he knew that's why he said that. Uh, it would have been cooler if he would have reached out to me, but it is what it is. Like we just happened to run into each other and yeah, it was a cool moment. So I'm, I'm really thankful for that. And it's just weird how things work out. You know what I mean? If I wasn't going down this like weird path that I was going down for the past few weeks, and if I, I wouldn't be at this gym at that time, like none, none of these events would have happened to lead me to that conversation that just made me feel so filled up and so good. And yeah, it's cool, you know, so I'm, I'm really stoked for that. Anyway, I just want to share that with you. So one thing that I really try to think about is you don't know if something is good or bad in your life. Things just are. And when you label things as good or bad, that's on you. You don't know if something's good or bad. So that conversation was I, I really I really needed that conversation and I would easily trade the last couple of weeks of doing this for all the positive things that are now happening once I made that once I made that mental switch 
I'm already stacking wins. So I, I got a guy, he's a nutrition coach. I'm gonna start working with him. This dude's a baller. He works with like big ballers. That's awesome. I had this conversation. I feel great. I ran, into, I ran into a couple people. You guys already saw in the video, just like some old timers at the gym that I used to work at. And yeah, like I feel really good about everything. So anyway, time to get the beard trimmed up and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.